Okay, we are over here by that screened gazebo. Kind of in the valley. The spring is over there. Repeat right here. And now he's hunting chipmunks. Really cute. And that is another rock wall that he's working on. Started it with Dan's tractor. Rupert. Okay. So this is the new rock wall that I was showing you. Not finished, but it turns out that it's heart shaped. He's filled up this point. He's going to be putting more rocks in. A lot of work. dogs up there and the bird carving. We'll take a walk over there. But I'll show you that there was or there were two big trees here. So we've got the, this one maple and the other one was an elm and we sent you a video of him cutting that down and making the dice. Then he decided, well, I'll dig out the rock so you can see it. And look how beautiful. Unbelievable. See the owl that he made. I believe we sent you a video of that in the winter. Oops. <laughs> I'm not on a trail. But he did this too. Let me go over here. This is on the other side of that rock. 
see the dice is there. And he placed these rocks around that big rock just to make it look all the more beautiful. Such great ideas, beautiful landscaping. I'm blessed to have a husband like that. You are blessed to have a son like that. Wonderful man. And there's the doggies, Duke, Prince, and Rex. Here's the owls. Did that with the chainsaw. Just the chainsaw, no other tools. Didn't get super, you know. Uh, detailed, but it's so detailed, <laughs> yeah. if you know what I'm trying to say. It's just unreal. Matt, of course, I think he said this was an ash tree, but I'm not sure. It's either ash or elm, anyhow. And now we'll go to the new pond. This way. Looks like Rupert ditched me. I guess he preferred the chipmunk. I mean, it still looks shaky. Maybe it's not as shaky. I'm a heavy walker, I guess. Oh, huh. Robin. I think that's a bluebird. It is a bluebird. There's a bluebird house right there. Yay! Oh, arm's getting tired. <laughs> So, that's Aaron and Lisa's bunkie, and that's the trail to the campground. And that's that swing on the hill in the field. We're going to go this way. There's the house, way in the distance. And the gazebo. Chipmunk. Too bad Rupert's not here. He would have enjoyed that.
Okay, that's the pond down there. starting to lower quite a bit. Well, the way it's supposed to be. Because those two big rocks are supposed to be like an entrance leading into the pond. And obviously the water level is high. And then he put some rocks along the edge of the pond. And you can see they're submerged underneath. And there's the swing over there, so nice and cozy. And use the antenna from the house. Just looks so great and so ingenious. The other night we were by here and there were five Canada geese in there and Rupert chased them. There's his drain hole, and then that stick there, the water level was, at that point, he wanted it lower than that. It was actually higher than that, and then he moved the stick when it got lower. And uh, just to show where the water level was, and it was up above this, so he dug a trench. To there. Now we can keep it at that height. Obviously in the spring you get a lot of runoff because we're in a hole. Eek! Oh, it's a black fly. I saw a bug on the screen. I thought it was a spider. Okay, and that's the, spring, the pond and the spring. Love yous. Happy Mother's Day.